All right, so I trim off all the fins first. This is all garbage. So the dorsal fins come off. Chef, did you scale? And this fish has already been scaled. It's it has, been, it has been scaled. Well, then you'd have to scale it first. Because you don't want the scale stuck to the portions afterwards. How would you scale it? Uh, you can buy a special tool called a fish scale where you just scrape the scales off the carcass. Uh, or you could use the knife working against the grain. When you're handling the fish, and for the rest of these uh, po uh, protein fabrication lessons, you've got to wear gloves. Don't handle raw protein without gloves. All right. So now, one of the more popular fabrication techniques for a round fish especially the salmon, would be a steak. So the first cut is to remove the head. And in the head section, you've got about eight to 12 ounces of usable flesh right here for soups, chowders, stews, salmon cakes, uh, pasta stuffings like ravioli and tortellini. Could be the uh, basis of a stuffing for a seafood sausage. Make a mousseline force meat out of this. Um, Sushi? Salmon, definitely sushi, like spicy salmon rolls. So there are a lot of different things you can do with the head. Okay, so you don't throw that out. I can see the steak right there. <laughs> oh yeah. No, too much blood. It'll make the stock taste bitter and it'll discolor it. Uh, but you can make a stock with salmon bones. That's one exception to the rule about the bones of oily fish. Usually you make a stock with lean white flesh fish bones. Unless you're going to make a red wine fume with salmon, uh, salmon bones. Okay, so now for the steak, you're cutting about one and a quarter to one and a half inch thick portions straight through the carcass, like this. That's a fish steak. The French culinary term for a steak cut from a round fish is called a darn, D A R N E, darn. If it were from a large flatfish like a turbo or a halibut, which is very common, then a steak is called a tronçon, T-R-O-N-C-O-N. A darn from a roundfish, tronçon from a flatfish. So this is for poaching, steaming, uh, roasting, or grilling. So that's one fabrication technique. The most common fabrication technique, however, most common fabrication technique, however, is uh, a fillet, where you're removing the edible flesh from the carcass. Now, the four market forms of all fish, flatfish and roundfish, you have the whole fish. That flounder is an example of a whole fish. Everything's intact, including the digestive systems. This was a drawn or an eviscerated fish, the second market form. The whole fish minus the digestive system. The third market form is a dressed or a pan-dressed fish. Minus the head, the fins, it's only the edible center of the carcass, either bone in or boneless. And then the fourth market form would be the fillets, totally boneless, either skin on or skin off. Okay. All right, so now what I do, I need a fillet knife. I'm guessing the tweezers are for the bones, right? Right, for the pen bones. I get above the spine with my fillet knife. And I cut straight down. It's a straight cut. I can't do that on a striped bass. The bones are too thick and dense. So now, this whole fish right here would cost about three to four dollars a pound. This fillet, semi boneless, would cost five to six dollars a pound wholesale from a farm raised salmon. All this edible flesh right here, you would scrape off with a spoon. Anything you do with the flesh in the head, you can do with this flesh right there. Okay? To get the bottom fillet off, it's the same thing, except this time you're positioning the knife under the spine, under the carcass, rather than above.
that's all usable trimming right there. Our uh, fish this size is going to give up about two to three pounds of usable trimmings. All right. So we've gone from three to four dollars a pound to five to six dollars a pound. But this fish is not ready to serve yet. And even though the fish has been scaled, somebody did a really crappy job of scaling it because there are still scales in town. Yeah, you can see it on the board. Yeah. So you got to keep cleaning the board because you don't want all these scales uh, stuck to the. Yeah, portions. 